Hello. Okay, I want to talk about uh, a recent article that the world's richest woman, uh, Australian mining tycoon Gina Reinhart, stated. Okay, this is her quote. I'm just going to read it. She said, quote, if you're jealous of those with more money, don't just sit there and complain. Do something to make more money yourself. Spend less time drinking or smoking and socializing and more time working, end of quote. Now, if you look at her picture right here, you'll see that there's a reason she did not tell the poor to spend less time eating. Because from that picture where she is obesely overweight, you can see that this woman, Gina Reinhardt, spends a lot of time eating. Now, just to clarify that statement so people don't think I have a bias against overweight people, which I don't, but there's only three reasons, this is a fact, there's only three reasons why people are overweight. And two of them, I do not blame them, but the third one, I do blame people. So reason number one is that they're too poor and therefore cannot afford food that is actually nutritious because we know cheap food that has basically very little nutritional value but high caloric intake um, is a lot of food that poor people buy so by this nature a lot of poor people are fat and obese because they can't afford nutritious healthy food because it's just cheaper to buy food that has no basically zero nutritional value but ha is very high in calories so it fills you up and makes you feel less hungry so in that regard if people can't afford highly nutritious food then we need to do something to fix that problem and obviously I do not blame people who are overweight because of that Re reason number two is that you have some kind of hormonal problem or some kind of problem where by the exercise you still put on weight because of some hormonal imbalance and of course again that's not someone's fault so you can hardly hardly blame someone and again, this has nothing to do with discrimination. I don't think anyone should ever be dis discriminated against because they're overweight or obese. But number three, I do think it's a, it's a choice if this is the case, is that a lot of people out there simply are overweight and grossly overweight just because they're too lazy to exercise. Not because they don't have the time, because they're too lazy. And number two, they could eat, they have the monetary means to eat healthy, but they don't, they choose not to. So they fill themselves up with pizza, cheeseburgers, uh, cheesesteaks, cakes, cookies, desserts, and that's all they eat, and they don't exercise. So I would think that, and I'm making a, an assumption here, that Gina Reinhardt, the world's wor wealthiest woman, fits into category three. So it is a fact that you are gonna live longer if you have a healthier lifestyle, if you exercise. So everyone, regardless of, if uh, they disagree with me on these views or not, I believe that everyone should believe it important to exercise and to be healthy if they have the means to do so. And so that is a sign to me of lack of discipline, if you have those means, and also laziness. So who is Gina Reinhardt to tell Poor people, you're too lazy, that's the reason. But it just shows how utterly out of touch this woman is. Because number one, she didn't make her money. So she inherited all her money from a, from a family fortune of mining business. So you have no right to talk unless you're an entrepreneur, you made your money yourself. And even if you're an entrepreneur, I would say you have to have made your money through legitimate means and through honesty and, and integrity along the way. Otherwise, you have absolutely no reason to talk and just shut your mouth because you know there are a lot of rich people out there okay that have made their money through honest means and that's fine okay we should leave these people alone but there's also a slew of people out there in the financial industry that have not made money honestly so these people are going to tell people to work harder they should work more honestly and start to stop defrauding and cheating people and then they can speak. But until then, they should not open their mouth. So that's just how I feel about this. And then thirdly with Gina Reinhardt, she makes another ludicrous statement saying that poor people, first of all, the fact that poor people don't work hard, I guess this woman obviously just travels to five, six, seven star resorts and has never really 
taken the time to understand how most of the world lives because you know there's clearly over half the world like live on means that you and I would think uh, are means that how can anyone get by on this you know whether it's making two dollars a day or five dollars a day or less you know so and the fact is I have traveled to a lot of developing countries have traveled to a lot of poor areas and I see a lot of people getting up at the crack of dawn working 12 hours a day and they're still poor so this person says the only reason people are poor are because all these socialist policies governments are putting in place so we need to cut taxes of course because she's wealthy that will help her and number two she says we need to lower the minimum wage because you know her family made it in the mining industry in the mining industry there are good mining companies out there don't get me wrong but the mining industry is notorious for having a reputation of underpaying workers and working them like slaves so she wants to lower the minimum wage I wonder why it sounds pretty Machiavellian to me so you know if you look at this if you ever saw that BBC documentary uh, the human planet you know they show that miners are some of the hardest working undercompensated employees in the world in an industry where they take enormous risks to their own health and uh, risk where you know their lives are literally a danger for a lot of them so Gina Reinhardt should not make this comments because she knows I mean her basically her fortune was built off the back of laborers that work extremely hard yet probably would be considered poor um, so I just wanted to get that these comments off my chest because I think that it just shows how out of touch the very very top you know half of one percent of people in the in the world are as far as having any sense of reality you know and she's saying the problem is social the problem is not socialism the problem she she has to understand is that people can't get out of poverty is because bankers have burdened us with a fake fraudulent digital idea backed by nothing that passes for money that they can devalue at any time and if she ever learned and she was educated she would know that even Lenin right from communist Russia said the greatest easiest way I'm just paraphrasing it's not the exact quote but it's basically the concept he said the easiest way to destroy a society he says to devalue the currency and you look around the world what have central banks been doing so it say you know the US dollar divided by about 50 percent from 2001 2008 if you're a poor person making two dollars a day and you're still making two dollars a day that value has been cut you know how much money you have to spend just for water and food that percent of your income every day just to survive but if you had sound money and you increase your salary from two dollars a day to three dollars a day you can actually get out of poverty but just you know, if a currency has been cut in half, you're making two dollars a day. You make four dollars a day. It doesn't matter, because the currency has been cut in half. So your purchasing power is the same. That is the greatest problem that's keeping people down, poor people, and does not allow them to get out of poverty. So I hope Gina Reinhart actually gets a brain and can learn something about reality, because she's living in a fantasy world. Okay, that's the video today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Until tomorrow. So long.